Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity 2. As I continue with my blind let's play. So, we just finished up some fights the last time, last episode. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I got through them. Uh, this time, we're going to continue tracking down... Well, we tracked out Mara, but... Oh, okay, find the book she was searching for. Uh... Oh, you know what? She's saying the book was on this floor. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Um, you know what? Let's let's go this way. I was gonna go through the archives, but let's go to the scriptorium first. I remember there were some books up there, and if not, well, actually, that might be the spot because. It's either there or right here, but she was either coming here or it was on that same level where they had the fight and I need to go back there and check it out. Wait, did I not take this? I thought I took this. Oh no, that's the that's the note. My bad. So wait, what book is she looking for? I feel really silly. Um how to get into Will's body. Okay. I know there's guys right there, so I'm just gonna... Just look through these really quickly. <clears throat> okay, so none of that. See, so yeah, bear with me as I, uh... Look through these, uh, these books. Oh wait, the machinery. Can I activate anything? I'll handle this. Wait, what? Uh, this... Squat device before you hums quietly, except that it's entirely silent. The humming cessation you realize happens not in your ears, but in the edge of your mind. Picture the key you received from the Marine Hoarder. Okay. Um. Let's let's try it. I mean, I saved it back down there, so if I ha oh, it's also going to auto save when I enter the spot. So let's try it. You place your hands on either side of the machine. The not quite sound grows louder. It gives you the impression of a gr growling stomach, hungry for something within you. Sacrifice of memory? Let's try it. A prickling sensation scales your arm, sliding into the joints of your shoulders and slipping up your spine and into the base of your skull. You feel lessened somehow at something as something slips from your mind, like something you just meant to say. It flows down your arms and into the trephin, which whirls contently. The machine quiets, returning an inactive status. Nothing further happens. What the heck did I just... I mean, I know I just lost a memory, but... I... okay. Greetings, visitor. Welcome back to the Scriptorium. How else might I help you? Nope, uh... We're good. Let's check down here. Because there was, there was this spot. Maybe that's where the book was at previously? I'll take care of this. What's your observation? That's a scroll. Cloth and customs. I don't think that's the book. Uh, if I... Let's see, if... Okay... Maybe it's not on this floor, maybe I'm wasting a little time, it's actually up there. Uh, regardless, let me just let me just quickly take a look. Here, let me let me speed it up just for y'all's sake. Monsters of the Dead Fire, I doubt that's it. Ancient tablet. Spanish tablet pacing the etched in the within ruins. Okay.
One small step in twisting the road, we must walk together, but if we can harness the power of souls, if we can control the cycle of life and death, the journey will be worth it, no matter how arduous or long. But now it is uh, not the moment of questions or of philosophy. Tonight we'll join hands and sing. Tomorrow, our work of generations began at long last. I, I'll try to keep a note of that tablet in case that's that. You know, in case that's what I need to have. Transform. Okay, that's the same. I'm not exactly sure what hint uh Ruffle sabotage. He had a visit to your friend S and adjusted his charge. His suspicions were correct. He was on the verge of a breakthrough discovery. I hate to spoil a man's career like that, but the greater good demands that certain islands remain uncharted. Smart fellow. If we felt to, if we felt so inclined, we could turn him to our side. Though he might think twice before he knew about this little setback. His dog is friendlier as ever. Okay, so that's not it. So you know what? Let's let's go back down. Let's go back down. I might have just missed it when I came this way. Yeah, yeah, that thing's still going off. Sacrifice the eyeless face demands. Is that it? The long pages of this thick, locked tome are written in dark green. Scribed in blood, the titans open only to those who have ungone the mystery. This could be it. Um, how the trepidant is used. Mystery cannot be taught, only experienced. Memory of thing is not of the thing itself. Memory of thing... Okay, it just repeats. Um, yeah, let's try it. Oh! Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh... Offer the correct memory to the scriptorium's trap. Yeah, let's, let's go back up. I'm gonna slow down the, the walking speed as well. Okay, so... Watcher. Yes. You remember why we started traveling together? Just seems to have uh, slipped my mind. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me because I did this pr prematurely. You it, uh... wanted to talk? For me, it was always about Maura. The fringe benefits were secondary, at best. Yet the deeper we delve into the halls obscured, the more your motives unravel. Better break this up. It can only get ugly. Uglier. What's going on between you two? Tane, I believe you were about to call me irresponsible, or was it greedy? Remind me. I came here to pull Maura, our friend, out of a bad situation. At first, I assumed that you had showed up for the same reason. But I won't make that mistake again. Now I know better. You're just as petty and self-interested as anyone in the circle. Your sudden sanctimony is curious. Maura's dead. And with her, your reason for being here. So why do you remain? Unless rescuing Maura was never your goal. Perhaps your motives and hers are more closely aligned than you led me and the Watcher to believe. Is anyone going to clue me in here? Apologies, Watcher. These are Circle problems. And they'll be kept between Circle wizards for the moment. Let's set aside the question of Maura for now. A larger problem looms. We cannot allow Wal's Titan body to live. It's simply too dangerous a temptation. We must destroy it. The only thing you'd be destroying is opportunity. Did it never occur to you that maybe Wal wanted his body to be found so that it could help those of us with the imagination to use it? As cruel as this sanctum can be, I have a soft spot for that old bucket of eyeballs. I wouldn't want to disappoint our host by leaving empty-handed.
Honestly, destroying Wild's body is the only responsible thing to do. Well, at least the two of us see eye to eye. Unfortunately, responsibility has never held much interest for Tane. Don't let Tane manipulate you to further his own impulsive, foolishly optimistic ends. Foolish optimism has never failed me in the past. At least my plan keeps things interesting. My plan keeps us alive. Find me later. There's something I'd like to discuss with you outside of a certain someone's earshot. I'm gonna wink. Um, I'm assuming we can't discuss this right now. She rests her hand lightly on your arm and motions for you to step away. You saw me arguing with Tane. You should know why. Oh. We found a curious document while investigating the scriptorium. Go on. Its meaning isn't entirely clear to us, but it appears to detail a device instrumental in the creation of Wild's Titan form. The device likely still rests within the Titan. Is that possible? To grow a god Titan. I don't see why not. They had to have been made somehow, unless they were birthed from the Earth itself. Now there's an unsettling thought. Tane believes the artifact is too powerful to remain under Wells' care. And in that we're agreed. But Tane's never met an exciting new toy he didn't want all to himself. I'm gonna nod thoughtfully for right now. We can't let this fall into unscrupulous hands. If you find it, give it to me. I would keep it safe. Will you seek it? What would you do with this thing if I get it for you? Treat it with the utmost care, of course. With the combined knowledge of my predecessors, the danger to myself or others should be minimal. Ooh, I'm tempted to tell her the last dialogue, which is no archmage should have access to that kind of power, Lingrath, not even you. I... Because, you know, I don't know, given our interactions with Tane, I kind of have to agree with her that, I don't know, I'm just really suspicious about his motives, but at the same time, I'm suspicious about hers. You know? Um, I'm really tempted to tell that last option. Yeah, I think I will. So no Archmage should have access to this kind of power. Not even you, Lengrath. The safety of Aora is my primary concern. You know this. Here's the document I spoke of. So she presses a scroll. My hands. Okay. There's a diagram of the device on the scroll. It appears to be comprised of three discrete pieces. You'll need to find each of them. Uh, okay. I'll take care of this. Uh, before we go there, let's go back over here. So yeah, hopefully messing with that memory stuff, it sounds like I've kind of messed up in the sense of, uh, yeah, that does nothing. Um, I might have got rid of Zodi and maybe a few others, just like how we started this adventure. Which is not good. Hopefully we can get those back. Otherwise, I have no clue. Hang on. Let me... let me save it again. So place your hands. Okay. I don't know why I, uh... Sacrifice memory, but that's okay. But sacrifice the knowledge of how to use this machine. So once again, the sensation uh, scales up my arms. You feel lessened somehow as the thought slips from your mind. Before beneath you shivers. Merla. You know I cannot fly, Ak Watcher. How novel. I... I would join you down there, but I've got this, uh, fear of being digested. You understand. We'll, uh...
I'm gonna save it again. And then we'll head down. We'll see what happens. To the upper bowels. And Palagina leveled. Arcana and... Let's do survival. Why not? At one point... What chanter ability does she have? What's this one? Oh, that's the Paladin. Whoops, not chanter. Um, well, let's check it out anyways. What is this? Each time the spell pulses enemies in the immediate area take burn damage. Nice. Will receive a portion of their total health in raw. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's let's get that one. And then how about Palagina? You have. I'll give you a morning star just for the heck of it. There we go. Everybody, at least on this. You know, in the party is max, uh, max level. And let's, let's save it again. Oh, lovely. I'll handle this. The gold form was darkness and descended into the chambers below. We must follow. The body would not harm those who care for it. The body is not responsible for this wizardry. Return from the canal is recommended. <laughs> the scant. Yeah, not not the best. Let's uh let's go this way. I kind of, you know, the thought just crossed my mind. I don't know why I haven't thought about this sooner, but this uh, DLC has kind of reminded me of in Baldur's Gate. For those who haven't played uh, Baldur's Gate 2, uh, eventually you go through a Mind Flare and a uh, Beholder's Lair, or at least you can. I, I, I can't remember if it's required or not. Regardless, that's what it reminds, reminds me, just combining the two of that. This kind of reminds me of the Beholder's Lair. From those games, or from that game, I should say. I'll take care of this. Oh, uh, slick mold clings to the wall. Moisture uh, beads its surface. Surface. I'm gonna grab some, I guess. You collect some of the mold in your hand. Comes away from the ruptured uh, pulsate. Uh, pe oh, sorry, a pestle. It immediately begins to itch. Let's attack. Let's attack these. I'm here. He keeps healing. Come on. Ooh. Let's see. Where's it at? This is it. There we go. That's the way. I'm listening. You know what, Batnir? Do this really fast. Through the void with you! This isn't as effective as you seem to think. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Oh, Mo, Ixie, Ona, what can I do you for? 
What can I do you for? Happy to oblige. One of us Let the done. light guide you. There we go. There we go. Death. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Happy to oblige. I, I, I lost it. I'm here. Feels like poison. This isn't as effective as you seem to think. I'm listening. Are you ready? I'm here. Perfect. It's done. There we go. Okay. Lingering doubt to torment us later. That is Aeora's law. Die or do not. I'm here. I'll handle this. There we go. So, second there, I thought we have to still run from uh, Elseris, but that's okay. Oh, there's a lot of, a uh, lot of, wow, a lot of things to interact with. We'll do this. Um. A lot, of, a lot of books. Let's check this one. Dreamwalker's Tread. Plus two to stealth, plus one to athletics grants. Oh, let's just take it. Oh, it lagged again. Don't know why. Awesome. Take all these. Alright, let's check this out. The lectern reads, In their fear, they will give her power and ask for safety, but she will give them only orders. This is though the book could be placed here. I'll take care of this. Death comes for all in time. They think their difference is uh, a blessing when it is but a brand. The gods lost them, but we'll find them again. What is this? Simple object contraption rests before you. On the lever on the side appears the only way to interact with it. So let's pull it. Springs back up, slamming into my head. Or ha hand, sorry. Yes? Ooh, and Elceris is... Very much injured, so let's let's do this. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. Just all Sarahs. I think she's the only one injured. Yep, there we go. Uh, what did I just pick up? Okay, here we go. I look at what appears to be part of an arcane artifact. Indeed. Okay, we can't continue that way. What's over here? Can we open this door? Doesn't look like it. So let's let's go this way. I'll come back for this and try to figure out the what books to take off the shelves or or something. I'm assuming that's the books I need. Oh joy. I'll handle this. I don't know why it keeps pausing like that. Anyways, as long as it's not crashing on me. A twisted chunk of iron-like metal rises from whale's flesh, leaning to the side like a crooked tooth. The pented surface gleams with a distorting array of colors. This matches Burkana's description of a fallen star- Oh, okay! She came back to the Black Isles in search of it. 
The metal radiates soul energy. The whole area is dense with it. Vague emotions reach out to you. Anger, fear, territorial aggression. None of it feels quite right. Right. What do you make of it, Faustina? I recognize this. Star metal. Arkermir had a few samples lying around, though they did not glow as brightly as this one. He shunned celestial research, tossed out any studies of the sky that crossed his desk. But it wasn't doubt or disagreement that irked him. No, he acted like he was afraid of something. So I'm going to examine it first. As you peer closer, the ambient soul energy studies you back with a quiet calm. But you're reckoning the essence is little more than an amorphous shape of emotions, though it seems more aware than most incorporeal entities. Alright, let's try it. We're gonna chip off a little piece. Yeah, I thought we'd be attacked. So, snap the piece of the metal away. No sooner does it come away to your hands than a discordant wail fills your ears. We're all gonna rush over to this one. And hopefully we can do this. Uh, Vetnir. You know what? Do this. I'm gonna see what this looks like. Oh, nice! If you insist, I'm here. There we go. I'm here just a moment. Okay. I'm gonna wait till they all get healed up again. Okay, and then I'm gonna save it. Anything else this way? No, come back. Uh, what did what did it just update? So he's descended into the body. Uh, prevent Mars murder from bending the entity's will to his will. I'll have to locate him. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant to read this one. The large eye directs the flow of the bile. Find some way to disrupt it. Okay. Okay, so that. Gotcha. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, bring out your friend again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hang in there, Zodi. What can I do you for? Fear not for raping. I think they're stunned or something because I can't attack. Oh, goodness. Okay, there they go. Okay, we're good. All right. Okay. I think we did it. Oh, and the door opened. I'll take care of this. 
Uh, before we go that way, let's... Oh, okay, so I got it. So yeah, now there's one more on this side, which is... Honestly, probably right there. Well... Maybe, because... I uh, might have to circle around or something. Let's... Let's go this way really fast. Oh, hang on. That energy, I do not like it. Hang on. I like, I don't like the look of that. So, let's save it. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, flowing forth. A bounteous shower. A torrent. Yeah. I'm afraid to step on those things. But we're gonna go. I'm here. That's the way. What can I do you for? Happy to oblige. Happy to oblige. Never you. Someone else is better suited to the task. Oh, let's take care of this one. Yeah, If we can. No one's moving. Um. What is happening? There we go. That was weird. Of course. Okay. Grab this. Like magnets, mag, magnets. Goodness. The two fragments of the gods be pull weakly towards one another. As a pair, they draw you towards the ground, as if the missing piece lies somewhere deeper within the body. Gotcha. Search the heart of mis uh, mystery. I'm unwell. Ooh, that's a major injury. Oh, okay. I am ready at once. Yeah, gently go around it. Gently. Good. Okay. Let's rest up. Is anybody else injured? No. Oh, it's this. Okay, let's try it. This fluid-filled conduit shudders slightly as the pump, as it pump its vile contents through the body. Towards the pit. Okay, so yeah, let's strike it. Conduit spasms beneath you, your blow, bouncing back into shape. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. But it's not working now. What if we go over here? Is this door open? No. Okay. And that's not open. Grab that. 
Let me check the map. So maybe I need to complete the books for that. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, because that's, that's just a dead end right there, so... Yeah, that has to be it. Or at least, it's either there or it's this, but I can't strike it. That's just that. Maybe I need to pick up some of those pieces, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go back to Verkana. I think that's what I'll do before heading back to this place. Okay, so let's go this way. And also when I come back, I'll, I think I'll talk to Lingraf and, uh, and Tane again, just to see their thoughts on the situation. Okay. Will this work as a celestial catalyst? Rakana gingerly accepts the rock, turning it over to study its uh, pitted surface. Her eyes are wide. She doesn't tremble in the slightest. This is the one. I didn't see you cast any spell. How could you even know this? Stand back, Watcher. I have waited so long for this moment. Not even gratitude will slow me down. A breeze you don't feel ruffles Perkana's robes and stirs her hair. She opens her eyes, and a smile slowly forms on her lips. A moment, Watcher. I doubt I could forget the words if I live to be a thousand, but let me write them down where they belong. Balsina leans in to study the script. Her eyes don't seem to know where to settle on the page. Finally, she turns to you. The circle doesn't deserve talent like hers. There. Vekarna's midnight daydream. Not a bad ring to it, huh? I like that. I like the sound of that. Keep this uh, as a memento, my friend. A nice statement piece for the dinner table. That hum of power is relaxing in the palm of your hand, no? So the... your midnight daydream, what does it do? It channels starlight into a living ball, inspiring and motivating all that it touches before dispersing back into the ether. As spells go, it is a little tough to control, but maybe not bad for a first start. Do you feel any different now that you've scribed a, a spell? I feel as if I have climbed a long and winding staircase, opened the door at the top, and found a polished spyglass waiting for me. Now I have the entire sky to still explore. I do not know what comes next, but I am pleased to have come this far. Especially with good company. For now, I want to spend some time with my book and my observatory. And a well-deserved cup of tea. Well, I guess I'm off, Rakana. Congratulations. Before you go, a parting gift. You have done enough for me that I owe you more than a roll of parchment. I happened upon this friendly-looking book while you were out looking for the star metal. And here there is a blank page like it was waiting for us. May you do great things with it. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thanks to you, I have remembered much and learned more than I could ever forget. Agrasimer Watcher. This would have been extremely unlikely without good friends. You give us too much credit for something you figured out alone. Bask in that achievement and let me know how it feels, Ak. Rakana spares you a brief smile before flipping over her grimoire to study the words she wrote. Well, that was fantastic.
Yeah, and I'm really glad, you know, we're able to meet Burkana, help her out, get her memories back, and, you know, just help her become a better wizard, etc. That was, that was awesome. And I loved how it tied into the other quests we've, uh, you know, picked up uh, out in the other, uh, in the dead fire. I think that's where I'm going to cut the, the video for today. Uh, next time I'm going to go back, talk to Tane, Lingraf, uh, get their thoughts, and go back down, see if I can progress any more further down. So, as always, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode, ladies and gentlemen. I greatly appreciate it. Anytime you take out of the day to watch. Wherever you guys are, have a good day. Have a good night. And take it easy, everyone.